Now we be the bread of being in our so both keep us men down. Those don't be in boys, gang, 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 money, I got money, red, but I'm ready, I can't wait to show this up in the Santa Monica touchdown, thank you. Yeah, I know you wanted to know actually what the song Many Boys by Rema and Charlie Poppy actually means. I want to break it down to the basic form, the way you know Nigerians. And Nigerians who were born in the diaspora will understand it. So welcome you all once again to the You Know vlog. And here we'll break down every lingo, street slang, into the basic understanding for you guys. So please, what you have to do is to click on the subscription button. If you're yet to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be the first to get a notification whenever there's a new content and also share this video to your friends to your loved ones so they can actually know what Rema and Charlie Poppy mean or meant in the song so let's get into the song without further ado the song that with Charlie Poppy and Rema saying they call me Charlie Poppy Pluto Presido and you know Pluto is the record label or the discography of Charlie Poppy. So the song started with the chorus, where Rema and Charlie Poppy said, touch down Benny Boys, gang, gang, gang. And to break this to the simplest form, gang, gang is a word in Nigeria that actually means, are you ready? We are ready. You know, when a movie happens, and if the movie is actually a trailer, there's a soundtrack that goes like, gang, 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 you know? So people connoted that and use it like to, you know, affiliate it with, are you actually ready? You know, so Rema and Charlie Poppy, they're trying to tell you like their flight is touching down in Benin. And Benin happens to be a place in Nigeria, I think in the Southwest Nigeria. And this is predominantly a city under a state called Edo. So Edo state is comprises of a place called Aushi, Asan, and the Benin itself. So this is where Charlie Poppy and Rema is originally from it's a minor sub tribe and you know after you count the major tribe of Igbos and yoruba in nigeria so it does another significant minor big tribe and they have good looking guys and this song will just tell you how much they are oriented with luxuries and fancy things so the touchdown the flight is you know landing are you ready that's what they mean with the gang 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 money money repete and this means like they are coming with a whole lot of money, you know, a lot of bags, you know, they've traveled out to make this money, you know, and now they want to show it off. So they went on to say, Remy, Ekan Road, Charlie, Sapele. So these are both Remy, who she's Rema, and Charlie Poppy, which is Charlie, representing their hood, do you understand? There's a place they call Sapele Road, and there's a place they call Ekan Road, you know, probably that's where they hail from. Santa Monica touched down chickens and you know they're trying to tell you Clay Road which is make way and I think Santa Monica is in somewhere in California I don't know if it's somewhere in those state of Benin City there so you guys should tell me in the comment section the next line went on to say they like to be dance the leg break bear and leg break bear is like you know a kind of dance that was introduced by a guy back in those days it's like five years ago it's not too long ago they're trying to tell you like you know, people are dancing because they are there to welcome Charlie Poppy and Rema. They are touching down Benin City. The next line I wanted to say, now we the bully, now we the pepe. And pepe actually means bully in the slang lingo in Nigeria. When they say why you're preparing someone, it means you're intentionally putting pressure on someone. So you're bullying the person psychologically. So what they mean with this line is the way they will spend money, the way they're going to go about, you know, with their luxuries, they will put pressure on so many people. If you play with the boys, you go collect. And this actually means like they're gonna jump on you. You know, their guys, their men, their security are gonna jump on you if you try to play fast one on them. The next line went on to say, see doings, you know, if it's top, say we not get. And this means like if you see their luxuries and you see how they spend, if you see their action, you definitely won't have a doubt that they've got money and they're wealthy. And after that, the post chorus. You know, was sang by Charlie Poppy where you say it gets why they call us Benny boys. We know they make too much noise. Now we they pull up with convoy. And let me explain the three lines. It goes on to like you know connote that Rema and Charlie Poppy are saying there's a reason why they call them Benny boys. Like they don't brag, they don't show off. They're not too proud of themselves. 
but when they pull up they pull up in a convoy like right? the security their friends they want a clean convoy and the next time went on to say you know the billings with the chest many fishes in the river but now you are one case and this means like you know the billings with chest means like do you know how much we spend and the billings is like when you finish buying or purchasing something, the receipt comes. So that's what they mean by the billing. And the chest to me is like they're taking it freely with your heart without murmuring or frowning over whatever cost they've spent. The many fishes in the river explains that there are so many girls around them. But there's a particular girl, Charlie Puffy is eyeing, and he's saying is the girl he wants to have for lunch and dinner. After that, he doesn't want to attach his emotion. He wants to move on with his life without falling in love. You know, he doesn't want any relationship and that's what he meant when he said chop you and clean out eat you for lunch have you for dinner and on to the next and after that you know the refrain came and said see money see money see money and it's yeah the verse came in and the man actually popping went on to say now we be the bread of being in our so both keep us men down now we be the pride of Benny. Oba said, suppose give us medal, which is true. He tried to say like they deserve an accolade from the king of Benny, and the king of Benny is known as the Oba of Benny. The Oba is the word to connote king in Benny language, and they trying to say they are the pride of that Benny. Now, my Benny brothers, I go call before I call Lokba if anything bad. And this line means like Rema and Shalipo ain't gonna pick any issues. If anything is going wrong to the police station, they're not going to go report. What they're going to do is like involve their Benin folks, their Benin gangster brothers. And you know, in Nigeria, Benin is one of the highest places like you encounter gangs and cultism and what have you. It's everywhere, but it's one of the, you know, places with a high rate of, you know, cultism. And after that, the next line went on to say, where me, boy, you can pace me your location. What is your next destination? Should I give you my direction? Touch Bini, boy, you don't touch the full nation. And this is Charlie Poppy with his cheesy rhymes trying to tell Rema, like, where are you? Can you share your location with me? But all the same, I can share my location with you if you, like, would find me so easily. And after that, it sounded the warning to people to say, like, yeah, if you cross a Bini, boy, you've crossed the full nation which is Nigeria. That means like they're gonna bring war to your doorstep. And <laughs> the next one went on to say, um, touchdown with the boys, which is the chorus. I explained it already. And after that, you know, Charlie Poppy came up with a refrain. There's a reason they call us, you know, Billy boys. We don't make too much noise. I explained that. Then after that, the brass came in again where they say, oh yeah, Billy boys don't arrest. Oh yeah, Jimasu. And this means like, the new boy don't sleep. And Jimas is a Yoruba word, which means wake up. See, we see opportunity. We know they fit Zuzu. And you know, if she's another word here, which is from the evil side of the country, which is Zuzu. And Zuzu is going from a word of Zuzu, which means fool or stupid. So he's trying to say in that line, like when they see opportunity, they grab it. They don't act stupid or foolish. And the next line went on to say, small thing come out, use and buy for market. And something about the Benny boys, like they like Mercedes Benz. They're too, too, or way too addicted to Mercedes. You know, they love Mercedes. And with everyone who makes money in Benny, a young teenager who makes money in Benny, it's definitely a 90 to 10% all that is going to go back in Mercedes Benz. Then Charlie Poppy came up and said, small circle, big money, dirty money. And this is well and very affiliated with Benny boys. They make good money, but the money somehow, somehow, if you trace it, there'll be a little bit of illegality in it. If illegality is a word, a little bit of illegal stuff, right, in it. So, and they keep the circle small. That's what it's trying to say. Shabby body wanna go on me. New band incoming. Sexy body, tell me what time are you coming? And this Charlie Poppy say like a girl who's got big, you know, shabby robusted body is trying to like, you know, show green light to him, and he's trying to say no. He's coming in with his band, you know, into this girl's life. But this girl has got sexy body. And he's trying to tell this girl, so where are you coming, you know? When I come in over to my house. And after that, they refrain, seeing on the scene when he came in again. And I mean, and that, that was, you know, 
um, the fade out of the song and the song like, you know, um, just got finished there. So the song in general is trying to tell you like, the new boys, you know, they're full of, you know, good life. They're full of like energy to party, spend, you know, get themselves good Mercedes Benz and not in much, you know, and why they are saying that they're trying to sound a warning alarm that you shouldn't F with them. Because if you do, you're effing with the nation. Um, so many Nigerians from other places wouldn't agree to this, but yeah, I just want to enjoy the vibe of the song and the song, you know, I mean, it's elevating, you know, yeah, I like it. So if you get to this time, I want to say thank you as the song wrapped up here. I want to say, please subscribe if you have to subscribe, like if you definitely enjoy the video and also share this video to your friends and loved ones. Don't sleep on it, please. And I will see you on the next video. I remain your regular host, Chris. And I'll always say peace at the end of every video. Love you. Simoni si anti si simoniu. Simoni si anti si simoniu. Simoni si anti si simoniu. This is simoniu. Allah.